Hi, this is Nancy with Life's Blessings, and today I want to just give an update on how our homeschool is going for the months of February and March. So back in January, right after Christmas break, we had gone to more of an unschooling approach. Um, for personal reasons, we had just kind of uh, gotten to a point that we needed to change up our homeschool for a little while. And so I, I scaled it back a little bit to an unschooling approach, and we are uh, generally more of an, a relaxed schooling family. So um, we have gotten back on track with that. It only took us a couple of weeks of taking a break, basically. Uh, we were still reading books. We were still talking about the uh, normal things that we would be studying during that time, but we weren't actually sitting down doing paperwork if that makes sense. And so we are back on track now. We've got a good schedule going again. We're back to our four day a week homeschooling. Um, we usually reserve one day a week, whether it be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, whichever day. Um, and it varies from week to week where we just go to the library. We run errands, whatever we need to do. Of course, you know, the nation is kind of on um, shut down right now, so there's not much getting out of the house um, going on right now, but um, we, we still are um, taking an unschooling approach one day a week, nonetheless. So, uh, in language arts, we are still copying Bible verses. Now, uh, my daughter traces the Bible verses because she is four years old, so um, she will trace the Bible verses that helps her to learn letter formation and you know get the feel of how a sentence flows as well and uh, my son actually copies the bible verses so and i do check for you know spelling and um of course he's just copying where i have written it but still i expect him to copy it correctly with correct capitalization punctuation etc so um, we're also doing spelling challenges on our chalkboard. We are doing read alouds with verbal Q&A. And in math, um, Joel, my son, is doing triple digit addition and bar graphs, counting by the dozens, fraction reviews, place value review, things like that. And uh, Dulce, my daughter, is doing before and after numbers, so number sequencing, and uh, word problems. She is going to start telling time this week. We're going to start doing some uh, worksheets on that just to the hour. And so we'll be discussing that this week. Um, She's still working on counting by twos. She can count pretty well by fives and tens, but she still struggles with twos. So um, we're doing a lot of review on that right now. And in science, we are learning about simple machines. And then for our Bible lessons, we have been talking about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. So um, that's what we're learning right now. And the only thing that I have cut out since the beginning of the school year that that I'm aware of is our history. We have put history on hold for right now. Next year we will uh, dive right into a United States based history. So um, I just felt like what we were doing for history was going right over their heads. It was, it was pointless and so we are not using the books um, that we were using in the beginning of the year for that. Now, I still have conversations with my kids about uh, the U U.S. history, and I do have a map that they uh, look at all the time, and I uh, talk to them a little bit about geography, and I use that map to do that. So, um, But as far as sitting down and reading the Usborne books and things like that, we're not doing that anymore because for my kids, it was going right over their head now. You may have children the same age as mine, and it may work for yours, but um, it wasn't working for us, so there was just no point to doing it anymore. And that's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Don't be afraid to change up your routine. Just because you did things a certain way, maybe in the beginning of the year, maybe it worked in the middle of the year, but even if you're right there at the end of the year, it's okay to change it up. 
And you know, you might go back to that same routine. And then again, you might not. You may adapt a new one. That's okay. Do what works for you. Don't base it on what I am doing, what someone else is doing, or you know, especially what uh, the public schools had done or what uh, a certain private school does or, you know, just because one person does something that way doesn't mean that everyone should do it, okay? So we need to do what's right for our children in our home. And uh, we are still using the um, critical thinking books that we were using at the beginning of the year. Um, I'm going to link a... Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description box, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put a link in the description box of all of the curriculum that we are using right now. So, um, like I said, the Usborne books, that's the only thing that we have cut out, to my knowledge. We're still using the critical thinking books, still doing Spanish, still doing all those other things. So, um, that's our little update for February and March. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped someone. Um, to know a little bit more about homeschooling and you can check through my playlist. I have homeschool helps. I have how to homeschool by state. We're still working on that. I had a request for Pennsylvania and I am getting that together. So uh, check out my playlist. And if you have not subscribed, we would love to have you become a subscriber, um, like this video and give us a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye-bye.